Welcome to the CA Workload Automation video covering the FTP, SCP and SFTP job types. The FTP, SCP and SFTP job types provide the ability to transfer files to and from servers without the need for custom-built scripts. When you are configuring a system agent for file transfer, there are two possible types of deployments to consider. FTP server or FTP client. Another choice to make is which of the three transfer protocols you wish to use. Maybe you will be setting agent security. Please be aware that an agent being used as an FTP server must have agent security enabled. During the installation interview phase there are common configuration choices that you will need to make. The FTP client and the FTP server also have their own individual requirements. If your agent is already installed, then you may need to reconfigure it to support file transfer. To do so, make some amendments to the agent parameters file. Once again, there are separate requirements depending on your choice of FTP client or FTP server. The agent will need to be restarted for the new functionality to be enabled. If you plan to use either the SCP or SFTP job types, then there are four further changes that you will need to make. When using an agent as an FTP server, local security must be enabled and user permissions must be defined within the agent security file. Each line in the security file represents a command type and a set of associated privileges. The format is illustrated here. The letter F identifies the command as a type FTP. This is followed by the permission, the user, the operation, and finally the path or directory structure on your system. In this example, all users are able to write files to the downloads directory and its subdirectories. Please note that by default, all FTP operations are denied. Once the security file has been updated, you must either restart the agent or refresh the agent security. Agent security can be refreshed by running the cybagent command with a minus R argument. The FTP user will need to be defined in two locations, on the system agent and within the scheduler manager. Let's take a look at some example jobs. The following job definitions have been extracted from the DE Scheduler Manager. They each connect from an FTP client to an FTP server and download a remote file to a local directory. This example is of an FTP job and is being viewed from the DE web client that is available from R12 SP1 onwards. The job definition contains the user, FTP server, remote and local file details that you would expect. It also contains the transfer direction and the transfer type. The FTP options panel allows a local user and a run as user to be specified. It also provides the ability to set SSL configuration, a compression level and specify additional FTP commands. The SCP job, displayed here within the DE desktop client, contains the FTP server address, the remote OS type and the file details. It also holds the local file details and the FTP and local user names. The SFTP job contains the common fields of the FTP job, but additionally allows private key authentication. Via the SFT command settings, it is possible to have the job delete or rename the source files when it runs. The job can also be configured to delete the source directory and create the target directory. Let's take a look at a quick demonstration of these job types. Within this demonstration, we will take a look at one of each of the file transfer job types. Let's start with the FTP job. This FTP job will run on an FTP client and connect to an FTP server. Once connected, the job will upload the local file name to the remote directory. Please note that other options available in the FTP job allow you to set the code type, a compression level, an SSL connection setting, and alternate FTP site commands. 
the SFTP job contains all of the relevant information as per the previous job, but also allows the ability to delete the source files, to rename the source file, and to create the target directory. In addition, a private key path and private key passphrase can be used. This particular SFTP job will connect to the FTP server and download the remote file. The SCP job type, again, contains the local and remote file details and the address of the FTP server. All three of the file transfer job types specify the FTP user. Let's trigger the application. And move to the monitoring perspective to view the progress. As you can see, all three jobs are submitted on hold. Let's release the SFTP job. The SFTP job is now complete. We can see that the job has downloaded a file from the FTP server into the app downloaded SFTP directory on the FTP client. Let's take a look. And as you can see, the file has been downloaded successfully. Let's release the SCP job. Again, the job has run successfully and downloaded a file to the SCP directory. Finally, let's release the FTP job. This job has uploaded the local file to the FTP server at the remote file location within the app uploads directory. Let's take a look. Upload successful. This completes the demonstration of the job types. More information covering the Workload Automation System agents can be located on our DocOps website. Alternatively, contact CA Support at the phone number or URL listed. To learn more about this product, connect with other users and share your own expertise, be sure to visit the CA Community site at the URL shown. This concludes our video covering the CA Workload Automation FTP, SCP, and SFTP job types. Thank you for watching.